What's up guys and welcome back to Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts. Today we are going to be moving on to our second mission and our second location. So we've got five objectives here in Kolchak Harbor. We want to hack the logbook, kill Leonid Nizliv, plant C4 underneath the icebreaker in three spots, eliminate Igor Sekov, and obtain the smartphone. This sounds pretty good. Let's get into it. Greetings, Seeker. Your contract is Igor Sekov. He is CEO of Sekoil, Siberia's largest oil exploration and production company. Igor's father established the company and made a fortune buying state-owned assets during privatization in the 90s. But Igor was more interested in guns, cars, and girls than business. I don't fault him for that, aren't we all? During the Siberian War of Independence, he fled to London. There he met Olga Kurchatova, the party-loving youngest sister of the Siberian Prime Minister. My <laughs> man. Their marriage brought Sekoil and the Siberian state even closer together. They now plan to reclaim the disputed territories of the Arctic by sabotaging oil rigs belonging to Russia, Denmark, and the United States. They will leave evidence that implicates the Siberian wolves. Sekov is on his way to his local office at the Kolchak seaport. His chief strategist, Leonid Nishlev, will also be there, coordinating the assaults. He must be eliminated too. Sekov's death won't be enough. You need to recover their list of primary targets. Find their electronic logbook at the port. Retrieve its contents. Along with his smartphone, we need to know who inside the government knew of his plans. Finally, we need you to plant explosives on the nuclear-powered icebreaker. It hmm. must never leave the port. Scupper their plans, Seeker. So we got to take these dudes out. We got to get some intel. We got to blow up the ship that's up on dry dock. This is uh, it's gonna be interesting. I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Looks like uh, looks like it's gonna be challenging. Kolchak Harbor. Man, this game truly is pretty beautiful, man. Like you can't you can't deny that. Look at that sunset off in the distance. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Sekov has just arrived at the shipyard. His wife is on the move, probably meeting him there. Got it. I mean, this dude, he's got a ton of money. He's a business tycoon. He's got a hot wife and he loves guns, cars, and girls. Spot to camp. I feel like, uh, I feel like I don't hate him. I feel like he's, he's doing it right. I feel like maybe we should... Hang up the sniper and uh, get to get to know him a little bit better, befriend him. But uh, I guess we'll stick with it. Here we go. So we're gonna head up inside the lighthouse here, set up a little Seeker, camping spot. We have new intel. We have learned that Kurchatov ordered the secret police to bug his brother-in-law. Where is the trust these days? Looks like we'll be able to jump up here. Get all the way up and. Jump across right here. What do we have? Can we refill some ammo? Do we have our pistol? Oh, we still got our AK. We're gonna have to change up, uh... Oh, hello. We're gonna have to change up our inventory after the next... After this contract, before the next contract. <clears throat> I want to buy some new equipment and get our silenced pistol back and stuff like that. I feel like we're a little... Okay. Come on. <laughs> I feel like we're a little... Lacking in the the secondary department We made it beautiful Got a little lookout here. So from here. I think our answer is gonna be to just tag everybody we can I think we take our time tag every single person in this camp that we possibly can and Then once we have them tagged Hopefully we won't have to worry about them in the future Might even be able to find some of our targets as well. Got some snipers up top. We're definitely going to want to take these guys down. I see a sniper here as well. Going to have to watch out for that. 
If we took down the front guy, the guy behind him might see him. More snipers over here. Got remote turrets we're going to have to watch out for. Obviously, that's not ideal. There's one at the front as well. I feel like we've got a, a pretty good lay of the land here. Not really seeing a whole lot else. Let's, let's start taking these guys out. Oh, shoot. There's a guy there. I'm actually going to take him out first. 232. That was a shot and a half. Hopefully he falls off the back side of the building. Nice. That was literally perfect. Now we're going to be able to take this guy out. He's down. There is this guy over here that we're going to have to watch out for. What's he at? 374 meters. Ooh. Got him. Missed that first shot. Had it on the wrong line. That's my bad. Hopefully nobody can see him all the way out there. I don't hear any alarms being raised yet, so I'm just going to keep keep working our magic. Where was the guy that was up top here? Was that, was that that dude that we took out over on the corner? I hope it was. I know there's a guy right here, 290 meters away, so... Let's go ahead and set this up for 300. Got him! See some other guys around his building too. Dude, this is so sick. Like, I kind of wish some of the missions were just this. I wish it was nothing... It looked like that guy took off running. I hope he didn't hear anything. But yeah, I kind of wish some of these missions were just just us doing this. Nothing else. Just taking people out from a distance. I'm going to chill here for a minute, honestly. I'm going to keep tagging people. If we find any opportunities to shoot people, I'll let you guys know. But, I mean, these guys are moving around quite a bit. So I just want to make sure that we can... Make sure that we can move in and we have pretty much everybody tagged. Feel confident about... What's happening? See, like this guy right here? Nah, fam. I'm gonna make sure we know where you're at at all times. 360 meters away. This would be a shot, wouldn't it? So we're gonna have to be about in the middle. <laughs> he was on the move too, dude. Let's go. Right into the water. Uh-huh, that's how we do it, baby. All right, so I was taking a look at our map here. So we've got quite a few objectives. Obviously, this area in front of us isn't the only thing that we want to take a look at. So we have uh, the, the logbook is back here behind us. We're going to move to that next. Uh, looks like Leonid is actually somewhere in this blue area. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to take a look at that and see if we can find him. We've also got to plant C4 over here, eliminate Igor, and obtain the smartphone. So all three of those will be towards the end, and then we can exfil out. So I'm thinking we prop since we're already taking this area out, we should probably go look for Leonid. You guys think we could take these out with one shot? Nope, it takes about five shots, but we can take them down, which is kind of nice. At least taking that one down is going to be good for us. The problem is we're going to have to sneak back by all these guys. Here we go. All right, so we've... The good news is we've tagged pretty much everyone here. We've just got to execute. So he should be... He's going to be somewhere... I'm gonna... Let's drop in the water. Whew. A little cold, but we're okay. He's going to be somewhere back here. Shoot, there's a guy right there. Let's go. Just go, go, go. This is kind of cool. You can explore out on the ice a little bit. But yeah, he's going to be back here in this building, I believe. 
somewhere right here in front of us. We've seen a few guys kind of moving around out here. So we want to be careful, but for the most part, we're probably okay. Take those two down really quickly. Dude. Those faces are rough, man. Hide the body and loot it. I kind of like when we tear people's faces off. It's also kind of sad at the same time. Like that. Man. Imagine giving that body back to the mom. She is not going to recognize it. I hate that we... I guess it makes sense. You couldn't really hold on to a body as you're falling like that. That'd be tough. Throw them off the edge there, beautiful. I would assume up in, honestly, probably up in that office. Now that I think about it. I'm gonna go check it out. Don't like cargo ships, dude. There's so many places where people could be hiding. And just walk around a corner and see you. <clears throat> Can get up top here. I don't think that office is a playable area. Oh. There's our target. He's in like worker gear. The question is, oh shoot. I was going to say, does he have any security with him? And it looks like he does. really want to set up a collateral shot. I don't know that it's going to work. <laughs> it did. Head to one of the extraction points when you're done here. I'm not going to head to an extraction point yet. I'm feeling I'm pre feeling pretty pretty spicy here, man. Okay. We did get both of them at the exact same time. That was honestly really sexy. I'm going to be completely, completely real with you guys. It wasn't even really necessary at that point. I guess he probably could have heard the shot. The, the guard was so close, but we made sure that there was no question about that. I hope nobody's respawned. I, I wouldn't imagine they have, but... Wow, we had to take a little little ALS ice bath challenge right there to get out of that. That was absolutely terrifying. I don't think we could take this this dude out. I think we're gonna have to have to have him move. That's an exfil point. That's an exfil point. I'm gonna say let's go over to our right. Let's go try to get this objective, the logbook, and then we'll go to an exfil point after that since we're already so close. <clears throat> Please don't look. Where did you come from? These guys kind of do respawn sometimes. I think he's just making rounds though. Maybe we just didn't know that he did that. We're gonna be okay. Run this way, run this way. Come on, go, go, go. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try, to, try to kill two birds with one stone here. I don't know if we can reverse. I'm not gonna go across the ice water, dude. Screw that. I really don't know if we can reverse zipline or not. That would be extremely useful. I'm going to assume we don't have any sort of utility for that, but I guess we're about to find out. There's no way, right? Just got a save point. Yeah, we can't. No magic powers in this game, so we're going to have to go around the long way, which is not going to be fun. Got a few guys we're going to have to deal with. We did take out that turret, luckily. Hmm. That's an armored guy. That's an explosive barrel right there, but I feel like that's kind of aggressive. I've been sitting here trying to watch their movements. 
We don't really have many options, if you want me to be honest. Um, we do have that second turret right there. I think our best bet's gonna be to take that thing out. Takes five shots. We know that. That's three. I mean, we could explode the barrel next to the big guy, but uh, I think that's going to draw attention to the whole camp. Oh, shoot. We're up to five shots. She's smoking, but she's not down yet. Hopefully that doesn't draw too much attention there. Okay. I decided to go for it, and I think it paid off, baby. He was standing right next to it. Okay. Make sure nobody can see us. I don't think they will. Hopefully there are no snipers. I don't know if anybody's in this building or not, but we're just going for it, dude. All right, where are we headed? We need to go... How are we going to get up there? We... Mm... It looks like we might have to go to our left to get over there. There's a minefield, so we gotta watch out for that. But I think we might be able to go up and around this way. Let's go, boys! Okay! That was a pretty effective first... First little section. Got in, got out, nobody noticed. It's exactly how you want it to be. Looks like there might be more mines that way, so I don't think we're gonna go that way. I think we're gonna go up through this ravine here. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how we manage this. Surprise! Good night. Not too shabby, Trev. Good thing those those melee kills are silent. I honestly wasn't 100% sure that that was going to work, but it did. So I'm going to bring this dude's body over in the bush and hide him. So I think... I think hopping up here might... Might be the path that we need. Shoot, I don't like this. Got a fork in the road. Which direction is our objective? It's pretty much all in front of us. And our, our actual objective is to hack the logbook. So we're gonna have to look for some sort of a major, some sort of a major, I don't know, building, office. There's gotta be something like that where we're gonna definitely know that there's gonna be some sort of a, a computer in, in there. Just gotta sneak through the bushes to pick this guy up. Sniper, no sniping, baby. Let's go, he's down. Now one thing that's a little bit concerning is I don't think I don't think our tags are sticking here. 118 meters, then if I go tag this guy, 128, the first tag's already gone. So this is, this is a bit of a, bit of a concern. He's down. I think we're just gonna have to take these guys out quickly. Oh gosh, I'm an idiot. He's down. Forgot about the win there for a second. See, I think, uh, how far is this guy? I think we're going to have to individually look at the binoculars for each guy. He's down. And then we're going to have to take them out right away. 78 meters. He's down. I don't love it, but I think I think it's the only option we have. We've got this guy down here. Should we try to take him out? It keeps coming up with two XF3 or whatever, 35 meters here. Oh, shoot. He would have seen him. These guys gonna line up for a collat? Yes, they will! Please tell me nobody saw that. Oh, shoot. There's another guy right here. We're gonna have to come get these guys. We might be able to... S oh.
We're good. Shoot, dude. I was gonna say, we might be able to set them up for a clap. We got two more guys over there. Oh, how far are they? They're, they're gonna be collatable. 73 meters. <laughs> Let's go. Although I don't know what's over there. So if there's anybody to see them, then we're screwed. I feel like we're being extremely aggressive here. It's paying off so far, but it's aggressive. 58 meters. Oh shoot, there's another guy too. We could probably throw a rock and get one of these guys to move. But then I'm worried that he, I mean, he's look, he's using binoculars and looking across. So is he. Everybody's moving here and it's making me nervous. I think we gotta take him out. 56 meters, I think we gotta take this dude out. Next up, we gotta take this dude. How close? 42. And now there's that one guy up top here. Plus anybody else who's in this area. I, we're kind of just freely shooting people. I don't know, I might have to restart the game. I don't know what's wrong with my, uh, I don't know what's wrong with my tagging system, but obviously it's not working like it's supposed to. There's that guy. 49 meters. Quickly, before he sees anybody, there's a lot of dead bodies around, dude. <laughs> we kind of went ham here. I kind of like it. It's pretty aggressive, though. You know what I mean? Like, we could very easily get ourselves in some trouble with this. So we probably want to be a bit more careful next time, but unfortunately, we don't have, don't have a choice if we can't tag people and be smart about it. So there could be guys in here. I've got a feeling it's gotta be. S Ooh, there's Control a zip. Clear. There's a zip line. It's gotta be somewhere over here. Oh shoot! I'm gonna go ahead and keep the AK. The 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 thing that we're looking for has to be somewhere over here. The computer is that what it is? What are we looking for again? The electronic log book. So that's gotta be a computer, right? Maybe follow this hose. I hear somebody's footsteps, but I'm not sure if they're mine. I've infiltrated the control room. Access the log book to retrieve the data. It's got an Alienware laptop, hashtag sponsored. Exfiltrate when you're ready. Locations marked on your map should be safe. No way, dude. So we... We actually just did that. Okay, we need an exfil spot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to this one right here. So we need to get out to the right and go straight to the exfil. The thing is, is we should probably go left because that's the way we came from and we know it's clear. The other problem is I'm a little impatient at times. There was such an easier way into that, dude. Are you kidding me right now? There's also an exfil point literally right next to our objective. Do we risk it? I feel like we risk it. They wouldn't put an exfil point in a questionable area, would they? You guys see any bad guys? I don't see any bad guys. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, my goodness, that was intense. These missions are actually pretty, pretty serious. We had so many guys coming at us from so many angles and we were able to take them all out. That was beautiful. Good stuff, Trev. Establish that connection, baby. Got her done.